y'all back here for my what's for dinner today i made spaghetti um so i use these banza they're chickpea noodles they are gluten free and they have extra protein so that's part of the reason why i like them um and then i made my own spaghetti sauce so i used this like tomato sauce i opened two cans and i only needed one but it's fine and then i used a can of diced tomatoes and then i did sweet italian sausage salt pepper Italian seasoning, garlic powder, and onion powder. And then I'll show you what it looks like. So here's my pasta cooking. It's getting about there. And then here is my sauce. So I did poke my finger in it and taste it. Um, but it tastes really good. So I always say season to taste. And yeah. Okay, so I just poured in my noodles so I'm just gonna stir it up and then I will show you what it looks like on the plate okay so this is on plate all mixed in um, I just opened the wrong side of the parmesan whoops so um, this is actually my daughter's plate but I don't know if she's gonna eat all this we will see we don't have a lot of time we have to get going in like 20 minutes so we have to hurry up and eat so yeah let's go So welcome back to uh, uh, what's for dinner this week. Um, I tonight I made chicken in the air fryer and I'm also cooking just steamed broccoli in the microwave. And then that's it. It's really basic but super easy. If you haven't had chicken in the air fryer, oh my god, it's so juicy and delicious. You've got to try it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, I'll probably add more veggies, but I guess I cooked a tri blend and not. Just broccoli, which is fine. But my husband doesn't like cauliflower, so that's why there's no cauliflower on his plate. And then for the chicken, I just did salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. And then flipped it halfway and seasoned both sides. But, like, my kids are eating the same thing. There's my son's plate. And here's my daughter's plate. So, yeah. Hey y'all, so today I'm making chicken alfredo. Um, you can do this as easy or as complicated as you want it to be. You could literally do just a box of noodles and some sauce. Um, I am doing some chicken that I pulled out of my freezer and thawed out. I'm just cooking it in olive oil, salt, and pepper. And then I'm doing noodles and I'm also doing some frozen like winter blend veggies. Um, so I can't wait to show you guys that. Okay, here is the chicken so far, um, and then this is my pasta. I used um, gluten-free banza pasta, so I'll get that box for you in a minute, and then I have my veggies going in the microwave. This is the pasta that I used. It's got chickpeas. Oop. All right, this is what it looks like in the pan, and I'm about to plate it and show you. Okay, so these are my kids' plates. Um, this is my daughter's. She's three. This is my son. He's one. Um, I am going to like chop this more fine so that he doesn't choke. But yeah, you can serve this with bread or um, like a salad or something. I don't know what I'm going to put on the side yet. If I'm going to put anything, we will see because um, we've got like 20 minutes before my husband gets home from work. So yeah, one pot dinner though because you got veggies, protein, and pasta. So yeah. Hey y'all, welcome back to my like dinner recipe video. Um, it is pretty warm today. It's like cushion 80. And so I just made some sausage and peppers on my stove top. And then for my kids, I did serve it with some ramen noodles that were like leftover from the week. Um, but <laughs> but uh, for me and my husband, I'm probably just gonna do like some salad with it or rice or something, I don't know yet. But this is what it looks like in my pan. This is chicken sausage and then red and orange bell peppers. Um, like I said, I did serve some ramen noodles with my kids', but um, I just do olive oil, salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder, and it tastes pretty good. This is, like I said, this is tomato or sun dried tomato chicken sausage. Hey y'all, so in tonight's What's for Dinner, I made chicken and veggies. Um, 
and that's actually all I made. Like we have like ciabatta, little ciabatta buns um, that I bought on clearance. So I'm probably gonna do like this with some butter if they want something else. But let me show you what I got. So this is just a can of carrots that I did separate and then I did chicken and potatoes like together in my crock pot. Um, I just did water and salt, pepper, garlic powder and onion powder but this is my two kids' plates and that's what we had for dinner. It's super easy and you don't heat up the house for summer.